Okay, great. Hi, everyone. Okay, we were talking about turtles, and I have a real live turtle to show you. Okay, on the count of three, I want everyone to say hi to Thunder. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, Thunder! Oh, he's cute, huh? Thunder here is a box turtle, so he's a terrapin. He likes both the water and the land. You think he can get out of his shell? Yes, yes. You think he can? How many of you think he can? Raise your hand. How many of you think, no, he can't? He can't ever get out of that shell? Raise your hand. Actually, he can't. He can't get out of this shell. He's attached to it. What do you think the shell is made out of? Metal. Metal? That's a good guess. <laughs> Rock. Rock. It's made out of bone. See this line down the center of his shell? Yeah. That's part of the bone. That's his spine. Everyone reach behind you and feel your spine. You should have one. If you didn't have a spine, you'd have to go to see the doctor or you'd be a jellyfish or something like that. But we all have spines, I can tell because you're sitting up straight and you wouldn't be able to do that if you didn't have a spine. Here's a neat little trick with box turtles. You can tell if they're a boy or a girl by the color of their eyes. Everyone raise your hand if you have brown eyes. Brown eyes, raise your hand. Okay, I have brown eyes too. If you were, if you were box turtles, you would be girls. Oh, no. <laughs> and if you had red eyes, you would be a boy. Why does Thunder have teeny arms? Why does he have teeny arms? Because he's a teeny guy. He doesn't need really long arms. He can just move around with just these little arms. Okay, Harley. But he doesn't like to move around a lot. He's pretty lazy. Um, how fast can Thunder go? How fast can Thunder go? Well, you see his legs moving here? Mm -hmm. That's about his top speed right there. <laughs> so he doesn't go very fast at all. I have a question. Oh, yeah. How do you tell how old he is? Oh, there actually isn't a good way to do that, especially with turtles, because once they reach a certain age, they kind of stop aging. And so it's not like a tree where you can count the rings or something like that. So we're not really sure how old Thunder is. But uh, turtles can live for a long time. Some turtles can live uh, over 80 years old. Sometimes over a hundred. That's when you die. Right. Yeah, if you got a turtle when you were a baby, it might live longer than you. Okay, I'm going to put Thunder away. Everyone say bye, Thunder. Bye, Thunder! Is this a snake, a lizard, or a worm? How many of you think it's a snake? Raise your hand. Okay, hands down, everyone. How many of you think it's a lizard? Raise your hand. I um, can't see any hands. Okay, how many of you think it's a worm? Raise your hand. Maybe one or two? Okay. The answer is, it's a lizard. I know. That's amazing, right? It's not a snake. It's a lizard that doesn't have legs. They're called legless lizards. So that's a fitting name for them. But you don't need legs to be a lizard. What you do need are a few other things. Everybody blink your eyes. Okay, you have eyelids. Here's a question for you. Do snakes have eyelids? No. Yes. No. No. Yes. no. They don't. They have a clear scale over their eyes to protect them so they don't get sand and dust in their eyes, but they can't blink. They don't have eyelids. So you can blink. Lizards can also blink because they have eyelids. Here's another one. Everyone touch your ears. He's blinking. Now you have ears. Lizards also have ears. Do snakes have ears? Yes. yes. No, nope, snakes don't have ears. Snakes are deaf. They can feel vibrations in the ground and they can detect heat really well, but they can't hear. So, I have a live lizard that I want to show you. On the count of three, I want everyone to say hi to Colonel Mustard. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, I have him on this rag right now so he can relax. So Colonel Mustard is what we call a bearded dragon. Now you look at him closely and you see those spikes under his chin there? Yep. Bite. Okay. 
Do you think those spikes are really sharp? No, not yet. They look like they're sharp, but they're actually really soft. But that's okay, because if he looks like he's really sharp and spiky, then nothing's going to want to eat them, because they'll be afraid of hurting themselves. So that's where he gets the dragon part of his name. Bearded dragons, though, get their name, the bearded part, because of their ability to make themselves a beard. Everyone try to blow up your chins. Puff up your chin. It's You can puff up your cheeks pretty well, but chins are hard to, to blow up. They can do that. But bearded dragons can blow up their chin really, really well, like a balloon. And they can turn it black in a second. So it suddenly looks like they have this big black beard underneath their chin. <laughs> And that's great because it really scares away things that want to eat them. Imagine if your peanut butter and jelly sandwich grew spikes and turned black. You probably wouldn't want to eat it anymore, right? Okay, so Colonel Mustard here comes from Australia. He's a good climber. He, he's climbing right now, actually. I'm going to actually put Colonel Mustard away for the moment. Everyone say, bye, Colonel Mustard. Bye, Colonel Mustard. It's called a Gila Monster. Can we find these in Utah? Yes. yes. We can find them in Utah. And the Gila monster is actually a poisonous lizard or venomous lizard. There's only three kinds of venomous lizards in the world, and this is one of them, and we have it right here in Utah. So you want to watch out for these guys. And this is called a Komodo dragon. Okay, so Komodo dragons get to be really long. They can be up to about 10 feet in length, which is really long. That's probably about twice as long as you are. And they're also venomous. So, we can we find these in Utah? Yes! <laughs> no, we can't. You can find them in Indonesia. And uh, if I had a map, I'd show you where that is, but maybe your teacher can show you later. Why do they have a long tail? Oh, that's a great question. Why do they have a long tail? Some lizards have a long tail to use as a weapon. They can whip it around. Other lizards use it to store fat so that when uh, there isn't a lot of food around, they can live off of the fat in their tails. So that's a really great question. Colonel Mustard here, he, he can't lose his tail. Some lizards can do that, but Colonel Mustard doesn't. And he gets a good diet, too, so he doesn't get too fat. He eats lettuce and carrots, and sometimes he eats dog food. Okay, now we've got one last group of reptiles to talk about. We've talked about lizards and crocodiles and turtles. Anyone know the last group of reptiles? How about you in the middle there in the jersey? Um, snakes. Snakes, very good. We're going to talk about snakes. In fact, I'm going to show you a live snake right now. Okay, on the count of three, I want everyone to say hi to Cuddles. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, Cuddles! Hi. Can you all see him? Okay, so Cuddles is a ball python. And ball pythons get their name because they curl up into a ball. Kind of looks like a garden hose when you roll it up. And they're very friendly as far as snakes go. They're very calm. They're not aggressive. They don't bite. Um, but Cuddles is used to being handled all of his life. If I were to find Cuddles out in the wild, he might bite to protect himself. But he's not venomous. Do we have rattlesnakes in Utah? No. Yes. Yes. We do. We do have rattlesnakes. If you take a look at this rattlesnake in just a second, there's one. That's what they look like. And they've got that rattle at the end of their tail. And that rattle is to warn us. It's to say, hey, I'm down here. I want you to take notice of me because if you come any closer, I might bite you. So he rattles to warn us. So if you hear the sound of a rattlesnake, you should freeze where you are find out where the rattlesnake is, and then walk the other direction. Is he a girl or a boy? Uh, Cuddles is a girl. Aww. 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 He just gave me a little kiss. 
know about. Hey, you notice Cuddles, maybe you can't see it, but here we go. We'll mm-hmm. get really close. Do you see Cuddles sticking out his tongue, her tongue? Yeah. There, you see that? That was a good one. He's smelling. He's smelling with his tongue. That's absolutely right. Everyone try to smell with your tongue. Stick your tongue out. Mm. Okay, it's hard to smell with your tongue. You can taste with your tongue, but we smell with our noses. Cuddles here can smell with his tongue. He gets little particles in the air that we can't even see, and he brings it into his mouth, and he sticks his tongue into two little holes in the roof of his mouth that we don't have. And that's how he smells. How do they slide or slither? Whatever. How do they slither? That's a great question. If you look, I'm going to see I and show you here. Okay, you see those scales? Yes. Those are his belly scales, and you can see they're a different color than the rest of his scales. They're also different length. They're a different kind of scale. They're called scoots. Everybody say scoots. 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 He uses those to push himself across the ground. It kind of works like the bottom of your shoe does. It helps him grip the ground and then he can use his stomach muscles to move himself forward a little bit at a time. Oh, okay, one more question. He wants to know if he squeezes animals. Yes, he does squeeze. He's uh, really good at squeezing, too. He's on my arm right now, and he's squeezing nice and tight. So they're really good at climbing, and they can squeeze their prey. They, they latch onto their prey with their mouth, and then they wrap their body around it, and they squeeze. Okay, I'm going to put Cuddles away. Everyone say bye, Cuddles. Bye, Cuddles. You guys have been really great. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you had a good time. Thank you. You're welcome. Come visit us at the Bee Museum sometime, okay?